Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. Galactic Starfighter, the free flight space dogfighting mode in Star Wars The Old Republic, has a big focus on skill, aim, and fancy flying. There are still some great ways to upgrade your ship outside of an actual battle. In this video, we're going to be going over how to increase your effectiveness by customizing and upgrading your ship. This is part 4 of a series about Galactic Starfighter. As you play matches, you'll get two types of currency that can be spent on your ship. Ship Requisition and Fleet Requisition. You earn Ship Requisition, the green currency, for the specific ship you're flying on, and you can only spend it on that ship. But you also earn Fleet Requisition, the purple currency, which can be spent on any ship, making it more useful. One super important thing to know is that requisition and upgrades and ships are per character. That means if you play Galactic Starfighter on one character, then switch over to a second character, that second character will be starting over from zero. Galactic Starfighter is not alternate character friendly. There are three main things you can buy with your requisition currency. New ships, new crew skills, new shield types, new weapons, and lastly upgrades for your ship's components. You can spend your requisition currency on the hangar window when you aren't queued up for a match by pressing the H key on your keyboard or by clicking the tiny symbol of a ship near your minimap. If your character is level 10 or higher, you'll want to pick up the Introduction to Starfighter quests in the Combat Training section of the fleet from the PvP mission terminal. This will be available after you finish your first planet in the main story as it will give you 25,000 fleet requisition currency just for completing a single match, which will give you enough requisition currency to unlock every ship. There's also a daily quest to complete two matches, or win one, which grants you 1,200 ship requisition, and a weekly quest that requires you win five matches or play a total of 10 wins or losses, which grants you more requisition. When you complete dailies and weeklies, the ship requisition is granted to every ship you have unlocked, not just the ones you're playing currently. Because of the way this works, it's highly recommended that you unlock all ships right away, even if you don't plan on playing them right away. That way, they'll passively be gaining ship requisition through the dailies and weeklies, even if you play only one ship. So go to the fleet, pick up that introductory quest, play your first match, and then use the item you get and the requisition to unlock every ship available to you. The individual matches also reward you with both types of currency every time you complete a match, and each match will also grant you crates that have more requisition in them. Playing different ships each day also comes with a special reward. You can earn double requisition by playing a ship that has the purple times 2 requisition modifier on its icon in the hangar panel for up to 500 bonus requisition per ship per day. You also have the ability to convert shipwreck to fleet wreck at a ratio of 1 to 1, so you can use currency you earned on one ship to purchase upgrades for other ships. This, however, costs cartel coins, so it's not recommended at a rate of 1 cartel coin per every 25 shipwreck points converted. As you play GSF, you'll also earn a separate currency, fleet commendations, which can also be earned from the old school solo space missions. You can use these to buy cosmetic rewards, old school space missions gear, and also some items that grant shipwreck or fleet wreck that are legacy bound, which means you can send them to any of your characters on your server. You can spend these commendations on the Republic or Imperial fleet. There are four different types of ships in Galactic Starfighter. The Strike Fighter. Whether dogfighting or targeting large mission objectives, Strike Fighters use a wide array of powerful weapons to eliminate their foes and are built for one purpose, direct combat. The Scout. Fast and agile, scouts are designed to quickly investigate contested regions and capture critical objectives before the enemy can react. Bombers. Bombers specialize in using proximity mines and automated drones to defend and support its team. The Bomber is a tough ship with the strongest hull of any starfighter role. And lastly, the Gunship. As the heavy firepower of a starfighter squadron, gunships dispatch enemy vessels at extreme range before they can retaliate. Each of the ship types also has three unique ship options you can choose from, which you can further customize through components. The ships are the same Republic side and Imperial side, they are mirrors of each other. They look different, but are essentially the same. By default, most players will have one of every ship type unlocked for free. One strike fighter, one scout, one bomber, and at least one gunship. You don't need to play all the ships right away. 
As mentioned earlier, it's a really smart idea to unlock them all early, but you don't have to play them right away. The different ship options give you variations of abilities that aren't available on the default free ships. To see what ships are available, you can click the Ships tab on the hangar, and they'll be on the section on the left. Now let's talk about buying components. Your primary components determine which ability you have for your ship, and your secondary components give you a passive boost to your stats, like your accuracy, your range, or your power. Each ship has its own separate components. You get one for free, and the others you need to pay Shipwreck or Fleetwreck to unlock. While some components are considered better than others, the main reason they exist is to give you different options when it comes to customizing and playing your ship. You'll be able to choose your primary weapon, secondary weapon, shields and engine ability, your 1, 2, 3 abilities on your ship through the primary components of your ship. In addition, you can unlock different minor components which give you choices when it comes to what type of stats you want to boost for your ship. To see what components are available, you can choose the ship you want to customize in the Ships tab then click the Components tab at the top of the hangar panel. The Components options are located on the left, and hover over a component to see more information about it. There's a very useful setting you can turn on in your preferences by pressing Escape key, Preferences, Starfighter on the left, and check Show Detailed Starfighter Weapon Tooltips. Once you've chosen which components you want to use, you can also upgrade them. Much like minor components, your upgrades will affect the stats of your ship. For example, upgrading your primary weapon laser might make them shoot farther or hit harder. Upgrades start off cheap, at about 500 requisition, and the upgrades get more expensive as you progress up the upgrade tree. If you see two upgrades that are side by side horizontally, you get both of them for the price of the upgrade, but you can only have one of the options active at a time and you can switch between them by clicking the icons. To see what upgrades are available, you can choose the component you want to upgrade on the Components panel, and the Upgrades path shows up on the right. Clicking the next available upgrade will show you how much it costs to upgrade it, hover over the components, will tell you what they do. In addition to upgrading your ships, you'll also have your choice of crew members. You can choose four crew members, an offensive one, a defensive one, a tactical, and an engineering one. Once you've chosen four, you can also choose a co-pilot in the co-pilot tab. The options that show up in the co-pilot tab are based on the four choices you made earlier. Each crew member offers different passive perks, and your co-pilot will also offer you an active co-pilot ability that you can use with your four key in matches. To see a companion's passive abilities, hover over them on the left, and to see the active co-pilot ability, click them and it'll be on the right. Unlocking companions cost 600 fleet requisition, the rare or purple kind, and they cannot be bought with shipwreck. So if you're trying to figure out what to do with your purple fleet wreck, first unlock all the ships, then spend it on your crew, and only after that spend your fleet requisition on individual ships. As you unlock characters in your class story, they'll become available in Galactic Starfighter. Unfortunately, when you temporarily lose your companions in the expansion stories, they never return to the GSF panel even if you regain them later in the expansions, so you'll have to pay Fleet Wreck to unlock them again. I hope this explains a bit of what's going on when it comes to upgrading your ship and what's available on the hangar panel. While this guide doesn't go over which options, upgrades, and components you should choose, there are some great fan-made builds available that I've linked in the description of this video. The next video in this series will be all about getting one shot in Galactic Starfighter and understanding about why it feels so unfair sometimes in matches so you know exactly what's going on and how to avoid it. If you want to show your support for this series or to have similar videos show up on your YouTube homepage, subscribe to this channel. And as always, may the force be with you.